Rajiv Bajaj, we'd like to have a rapid fire session with you. Let me begin by asking you one mantra that you really swear by. Well, Parikshit, uh, I learned this from my marketing guru, uh, Jack Trout. It has stood me in good stead. And the three words are narrow your focus. And if I were to elaborate on that, uh, what he was telling me is whenever you're in trouble, uh, the mantra for that is narrow your focus. Uh, whether you narrow your focus in terms of technology, in terms of brand, product, uh, geography, distribution, whatever be the uh, access you do it on, but uh, if you're looking for a solution, you are likely to find it if you narrow your focus. Top advice for a leader. Um, I like what Carl Jung said, which was that a true leader is always led, uh, which means that, uh, you know, you yourself have to be led by some thought, some principle, some idea. And I will share with you uh, what Confucius said, who said, there are three paths to wisdom. Um, uh, by imitation, which is easiest and therefore useless, um, by experience, which is bitterest and therefore avoidable, and by reflection, which is noblest. So I think uh, leaders can reflect on what has worked, what has not worked, draw some very valuable inferences on that, and then lead uh, through principles that arise. Right. Uh, biggest career regret? Uh, so I've been at Bajaj for 33 years, so there should be many. Uh, but, uh, you know, I like what somebody said that uh, if a victory is analyzed in uh, sufficient detail, you cannot distinguish it from defeat. Mm. So actually, all victory is nothing but uh, the result of learning from failure. And, you know, as they say, if you lose the failure, you lose the lesson. Mm. So in that sense, I have no regrets. I have only learned it. Okay. Favorite motorcycle apart from the ones under the Bajaj brand, and we're not asking you about the Husqvarna, about the KTMs and Kawasaki. I was going to say Husqvarna because I love them, uh, but you've counted that out. So, as you said, I don't pull any punches, so I'll tell you very candidly, I think uh, Royal Enfield is the most beautiful motorcycle. In okay, so you're saying Royal Enfield is the most beautiful. Uh, the biggest disruption that you see in the industry coming in the next 10 years? Well, as of now, I have to say, Parikshit, that would be uh, the uh, electric disruption. You know, I have, in my career, been through two disruptions or transitions. I don't know what we, what I used to call them. The first was from uh, uh, being a local player to becoming a global player. And the second, as a result of that, was from being a manufacturer of various kinds of two-wheelers, primarily scooters, to becoming focused uh, uh, on just motorcycles in the two-wheeler space. So these are two transitions, I would say, or disruptions we have successfully been through and, you know, become the world's most valuable two-wheeler maker on that basis. And now we have to do it again for the third time. So we need a bit of a hat-trick now where we transition uh, from being an ice player to also being an equally successful EV player.